Well, thanks, Chad and Rhea. Today we're going to be reviewing this something that's not quite as fast as we're usually going, or not near as fast as what they have out on the salt flats. But we're going to be out with right away with Ray a vent, and we're going to be going out and playing on the ATV Paiute Trail. So come on, let's show you how much fun it is. I'm thinking this is very, very cool. The Canyon Gold Tour, that is good stuff. Right away with Ray is kind of a new concept, but it's it's realistically an ATV ride that we have kind of got together a campground, we've got guides together, we did a scavenger hunt, and basically on the scavenger hunt it was kind of cool because we had dates when things would happen, so you'd have to go up to this certain mine and find out what that date was. And then you'd have to go over to this other place and see what year or why that pass was called a certain thing. And so it really gave you a reason to go out to these different places and read about what has happened there and what's going on there instead of just maybe blowing by that point and not taking the time. So it made for a really fun and exciting day. And all this fun and excitement went to a good cause. We helped to raise some money and some food for the Utah Food Bank. Nowadays, uh, the food banks all across the state and probably across the nation are vital to those who don't have. And we have people in our community the same way, and I'm sure it's all throughout uh, all of Utah, and especially metropolitan areas. And so we, we like to help those kind of causes because we know there's out there people out there that don't have anything. It was a really a great time because the trees were just fantastic. In fact, we came down this really cool trail. It was only a 50-inch wide trail, so that made it kind of fun to begin with. We kind of came down, and then we headed up to these ruins. On the way back, we took a different way back and we came into the same canyon and it was just exploding with color. It was pretty amazing because we didn't see that at all on the way down because it was kind of, we were, you couldn't see the forest through the trees. But on the way back, we saw that entire hillside that we had just ridden through it. Everything was so brightly lit. There were oranges and reds and everything. It was just, just amazing to see the color changes in through there. There were also a lot of RV guys that just came down to hang out for the weekend. They didn't even necessarily go out on the ride for the day. We had a great barbecue dinner that night. There's a lot of things to just kind of walk around and go see. So there were actually quite a few people that didn't even go ATV in. We'd really like to thank Liz and Charlie's. That was a great facility for us to come down and hang out. And they were very accommodating to make sure we had everything we needed. And also I'd really like to thank Ray City RV for helping sponsor this event to make it enjoyable. And for you guys who did make it down going, oh, I'm not sure what you guys are doing, you better sign up for next year because we really had a good time and had a good turnout. So next year, you better put it on your calendar early so you don't get locked out. Is there hidden treasure in there? There might be. There could be hidden treasure, but you know what? No one will know until you come up and ride the trail with That's us right. next time. This is a must. You must do this. This is so beautiful. You too can come out and enjoy any of these events that we do. we got motorcycle rides, ATV rides, boat rides, all of those kind of things. Go to our website, AYLTV.com. And check us out because there's lots of fun things and we'd love to invite you along. Well, we need to get back to Chad and Rhea and see how much fun they're having out at the Salt Flats. I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time.